o'clock morning, 4.30. But it's our turn again. Oh, half a day of work. And then that's it for a few weeks because we are off on holiday. Oh, finally our turn. Uh, people say we're always on holiday. We're not. I wish we were, but finally we get to travel again. And we hope you can come along for the ride. Where are you going, I hear you ask. We'll let you know later, so no clues just yet. I've got my tea. So that's me having a good start to the day. So we'll let you know later where we're off to. Morning all, it's pre-travel day. Hooray, I've also got to go into work. Peter's already gone because it's now daylight. Um, I've got five hours in the office to do and then Heathrow time and I cannot wait. And I need to put some makeup on. So let's do this. So into the office and I am in desperate need of a coffee. Stand by. So work's all done, half day. I'm off home, get all the cases in the car and wait for Pip to get home from work. Next on the agenda, I'll show you. Suitcases, let's get them in the car. Cases are in. Let's shut the lid. They're in the car. Just got to wait for Pip to finish packing her pink case and then we uh, can get on the road. Hello. Time to tell them where we're going, what we're up to. We're finally in the car, work is done. And um, it is officially pre travel, pre -travel day. day. Oh, hallelujah. Um, yeah, work was fun. We had a major network outage, so sat twiddling our thumbs for a lot of the morning. Um, put the decorations up. As you saw, I had a half day, so not too bad. Yeah, right for some. <laughs> but I am part time, to be fair, in that job. Anyway, we are off, and we are off to Heathrow. Yeah. We are staying at the Hilton Garden Inn tonight, uh, between all right, terminals two and three. We are flying tomorrow with Virgin, and we are heading to Orlando. Back to the mothership. <laughs> It's a two week trip, it's slightly different for us though. Yeah. We're not planning on heading into the parks. Shocker. <laughs> we are staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge, and, yeah. but then after a car, three nights, we are heading to Port Canaveral to board the beautiful Disney Fantasy. Woo. She was our very, very first cruise ship back yeah. in 2019. We haven't been um, on her since. And we didn't vlog it because we hadn't got the um, channel going by then. No. So uh, it was literally about three months before we started it. So at least we can actually film her and keep yeah. her keep her memories now. Um, then we are doing four nights back at Walt Disney World again at Saratoga Springs and, and then home. So it is a, a two week trip, but with a seven night cruise sandwiched in the middle. Yeah, it's three different places to stay. Yeah, we are heading to Animal Kingdom uh, because we have managed to get DVC Moonlight Magic tickets. So uh, that's gonna be fun. At least we get to do that. Yeah. Um, reason was really, it, it wasn't worth getting two week Disney or seven night Disney park tickets for the amount of time we're going to be there to do the parks. It just would have been a bit of a waste of money really. Yeah, it would. So we're going to chill. We're going to try and relax a little bit more on this trip. <laughs> you know that's not going to happen. Right, we will see you when we get a little bit closer to Heathrow. Yep, sorry I'm right in the traffic. Here. That was just um, through a roundabout. Uh, and um, yeah, we'll see, we, see you a bit closer to the airport. We've arrived. It, it's just popped to the loop. We're at, we're at uh, Terminal 3, bit of traffic on the M25, nothing to worry about. Pretty straightforward. So don't worry about coming to Heathrow if you're a bit worried about driving here. But yeah, so next time you see us, hopefully it'll be in the Hilton Garden Inn. Oh, we're here. Pip's gonna check in. We just came out through the car park of Terminal 2. We came along the subway from Terminal 3. 
So this is the lounge area, seating area. So I'm gonna head over there with Pip. Here we are, Hilton Garden Inn. Room 5009. There's Mrs. B. Here is our room. Door. A big door as well. King room, this is. Don't know if Pete just said that. No, I didn't. Um, I'll tell you how much I paid for it shortly. I booked it through booking.com. So, it's first impression is really nice, actually. It is nice, yeah. We've seen it on a couple of vlogs now. We've seen it on Blokes from Stoke. Hello, yeah. Tom and Paul. And... Aussie Robo and English Gent, so hello. So Darren they both Rock. stayed here. <laughs> um, Big mirror. Nice tall legs one, we all need yeah. that. Then a luggage area, hangy. Yeah, just a thing. print. Just iron, a print. Iron, iron, iron ironing board. Underneath. And a hairdryer, it's lovely up here. Yeah, for the tall people. Yeah, not for me. And there's a laundry if you want to do it, get your laundry done for one night. No, you're right. Let's spin around, go into the main room. Plenty of room, actually. Massive bed, very wide. Oh, well, it's a two single. Oh yeah, two divans together. But, um, yeah, lovely bed you can spread out on. A plethora of plugs and USBs. Yeah, USB. Yeah, aircon is very um, modern, so I just turned it on, and it's up here, and it's very quiet, and I put it on maximum fan. Yeah, that's cooling down. There's a, a USB each side of the bed. There's a reading, reading light. light. An old phone. Um, safe. It's quite safe. big. Nice. On a chair and a table. Yeah. Oh, but then if you're going to have some food, you can always swing the chair. Yeah. So over yeah. here, there's another chair. So you've got a vanity come desk. Uh, we've got a fridge. I don't know if it's working actually. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's good. Right. We have been in hotels where the fridge hasn't worked. Yeah. But, yep, that's good. Tea and coffee. Usual shenanigans going on here. Normal tea, normal tea. What's that one? Oh, Earl Grey, your favourite. Yep. Um, calf and decaf. Get in the sea, Earl Grey. Oh. Some nice big yep. mugs, actually. Some glasses and uh, teeny, my, teeny tiny kettle. My bag, more USBs. That's a remote. Nice big telly. So for one night, perfectly acceptable. Yeah, that yeah. telly is massive, actually, isn't it? Yeah, good. Yes, we like for, for a Tuesday. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna watch Bake Off. It's bake Off final yeah. tonight. But you're you're watching this way off. Yeah. Right, so. so you'll know who won. We don't at the moment. Do we? No. <laughs> Bathroom. Yes. Miss Frowny Pants. Waiting for me to say something. I'm going to be, what did you say? Right. Bathroom. I love you. <laughs> Again, big enough. Yeah. Nice dark tiles, marble. No plastic to take away, which is good. So we've got hand wash and, ha and body lotion on the wall. Crabtree and Evelyn. Okay, that's good. Just says moisturising. It doesn't say nice what big kind mirror. of smell it is. I'll report back on the smell. It's all spotlights in this hotel, by the looks of it. I saw not a complete door across. No. But nice big shower. At least three people in here. Yeah. Definitely. Well, four pippers. Three, four pippers, three, three normal people. Um, shampoo, shampoo, and conditioner. Yeah. Which I'm happy about because I wash my hair in the morning. What's that on that rainfall shower? That looks a bit grubby. Bit of lime scum. Oh, yeah. Mm, bit of lime scum. That needs a bit of a scrub. Or it's something that's come off, the, the coating's come off. Oh, anyway. is it? But absolutely clean. Nice oh, clean, Lou. Yes, it's spark clip. Shaver points for the toothbrushes. Just nobody the plugs their shavers in. Yeah, nice. That'll do us. Nicely for the evening, wouldn't it? Yep, I will look up how much I paid for this and let you know shortly. So I paid £179 for this room. There was some money back through Top Cashback or Quidco, one or the other. Um, yep, That's fair prices really at hotels in airports. London Heathrow, isn't it? London prices. And Gatwick's always slightly cheaper. Yeah. But anyway. We've been yapping away. If you're new here, yeah. um, hello, I'm Pippa. Yeah, welcome, I'm Pete. We are Broadways Away. We're Broadways and we go away, so the yep. the, the channel name made itself up, really. We like cruising, mm. we like a bit of Disney. Yeah. Uh, and we're doing both on this, on this trip. Yeah. Well, we're not going to the parks, as you said, but we're doing plenty of other stuff, aren't we? 
Well, while we're here, we normally do this in the car, but we are doing a seven-night Western Caribbean on the yeah. Disney Fantasy. So what ports are we going to? We always test Pete. Uh, um, Castaway Key. Yes. Mm. Um, he knows them, really. Uh, it's either Freeport or Freetown. What is it? Free Fal in Where? Jamaica. Falmouth. Fal is it Falmouth? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Good reason one of us looks at the itinerary. The island of Jamaica. The island of Mexico. No, I'm joking. So we're going to um, Mexico as well. Is it Cancun? No. I can't remember what it's called. Cozumel. Cozumel. <laughs> I got the first letter right. Right, try the last place we're going to. Uh, Cayman Islands? Yeah. Grand yeah. Cayman. Grand Cayman. Yes. Hopefully it's not too um, devastated after the recent hurricanes. So, yeah. Unfortunate, but the cruise before us last week mm. was changed to the other itinerary yeah, the eastern, the, the eastern which we've yeah. done before so hopefully this this cruise will actually go to the western caribbean that's okay i don't think there's anything else forecast trouble storm wise but yeah <sighs> right the next thing is to go and find some food we've uh, worked up an appetite yeah we parked at terminal three because that's where virgin fly from but yeah. this hotel is called uh, hilton garden inn terminals two and three yeah. it's more like two if i'm honest um, it was a short, mm. what was it, 10 minute walk? If from, you're going to stay here, three? park at Terminal 2, I'd, I'd recommend. Yeah, probably. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's a short walk from Terminal 3, so it does serve both. Um, so yes, now we need to go and find a Marks and Spencers. Yeah, get some grub. Cool music. Woo! Muzak. This is the uh, ramp we came up to come in. If I spin round, this leads into the car park. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Cool. We normally stay at Terminal 5 sometime yeah. when we're flying from Heathrow, but decided to give this one a whirl. So, as you can see, it comes out into the car park and it says Hilton Garden Inn on that wall, and we've just got to go straight through here, follow the green path. So, welcome to Terminal 2. It's quite fresh today. Nice though. Well, it is end of November. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I should have said it's November 26th today. Yeah. Terminal 2, the Queen's Terminal. Are they going to rename it the King's Terminal? No. Oh, okay. So it's not very big here, but there's everything you need. We'll show you in a sec, but we're going to go in here. There's a Cafe Nero. Tempted to get a latte. And an MS Simply Food. A latte. I might. Get your Christmas stuff here. Oh, look, pastries. Mm -mm -mm. <gasps> Cheese and onion twist. Open to the air, though. You don't know who's been um, suffering around with them, do you? And a million Percy pigs, as usual. And Colin the caterpillars. Limited edition. Naughty and nice piglets. That's me, naughty and nice. Christmas sandwiches. Snacks and lollipop. Alright. So, what do we want for dessert? There's vanilla cheesecake down there. Custard tarts. Cream slices, eclairs. But we don't do sweet, do we? We don't do desserts. Thinly veiled <laughs> reference to another vlogger. Are you after there, Mrs. B? I don't know. So we've got our stuff in MS. We're just walking down the other end to show you what's down here. This is Terminal 2 arrivals. Yeah, the Queen's Terminal. So this is all pre going through. Post going through. <laughs> well, post or pre. So down this end, there's another Cafe Nero over there. There's the boots, all your travel stuff, Smith. Yes, Again, the food and travel stuff. It's standard stuff, really, isn't it? Uh, don't know what that is. Sixth Express Baggage Company. Uh, don't know who they are. Maybe if you brought too much stuff. Oh, that's a bit close. Or not enough. Yeah. And there's something around the corner. I don't know what. Unless it's all Cafe Nero. I don't 
don't know what you mean. There's something here, isn't there? Oh, it's a lose. <laughs> yeah, so you've got Cafe Nero, which is quite big. And then there's, there's Lou's down there. So here is tea. Pete got a turkey feast sandwich. I got my traditional chicken honey mustard pasta salad. Pete also got a cranberry sausage roll. That's for him. I'm not sharing that. They are to share for pudding. Uh, crisps to go with the... Uh, the savoury stuff. We brought these from home. Uh, Pete got himself a Peroni and I've got an espresso martini cocktail because I had one of those in the summer and it was absolutely lush. Um, yes, so that's our picnic before the morning. Pete's All just the day's done. Pete's just sorting out bits and pieces. And yeah, we're in. Now, a bit of jiggery pokery to do with this lot because the two blue and the green cases are cruise cases. So predominantly it's cruise stuff in there. But we might need to move some bits around, mightn't we? That's crude. It's case Jenga time. We've just been live on YouTube. Thank you if you joined us. Yes, thank you to everyone. And we are finishing up our drinkies. Yeah. Well, Cheers. It looks like I've got a coffee, but it's actually um, espresso martini from MS. Quite like doing the live. It's quite fun, isn't it? Yeah. Might do a few more of them in the future. So that's pretty much it for pre-travel day. Yes, it's it's been quite calm. It's yeah. been, been quite a nice uneventful. start, really. Well, that's what we want on holiday. We want uneventful, don't we? Yeah. We always um, pray the traffic's going to be on our side, and it was today, thankfully. Yeah, I've got my, my document holder is ready to go. Um, yeah, we checked in. I showed this on a vlog ages ago, but I will show it oh, again. Oh, yeah, why not? Because it's quite handy if you're going away. Bear with. Like I say, we checked in. We got our boarding cards in our wallets. So just it's a case, case of getting to the terminal it's tomorrow. It's an A4 document holder. I got it on um, Amazon a while back. And we've got all the bits and pieces inside it. We've got loads of um, pockets and whatnot. Yeah. There's um, in there. We've got the passports are in there, zipped away safely. Um, yeah, that was something like seventeen ninety nine. On Amazon, something like that. Um, they came in plain colours as well, not jazzy ones like that. Yeah. But yeah, we, we found that really handy. Although it's big, it sort of slots inside my handbag, and at least I know everything is there. I'm yeah, not scrabbling true. around in the bag. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah, good little purchase that. Because I don't know if anyone else has noticed, it's gone from the days where you had paper, everything printed out or sent to you, like airline tickets, to then it went digital didn't it, a few years ago. And it was like, no, it's all fine, it's all digital. And now they say, oh, have it on your phone and print it out just in case. So now... <laughs> so yeah, so I, I keep it all just on the safe side because they want to see paper copies of stuff when we check in for the cruise. I don't know why, it's all online and I've checked in online, but they still need to see it again. I mean, we're still, we're still those people who print up sort of copies of Esther's and stuff just so we've got a hard copy. Yeah. It's always good to have a hard copy of things Well, like you that. never know if your phone's going to die or there's no connection or oh, all that stuff. I the think, stuff that then makes you panic that you're not going to get through the airport or something. I think everyone knows how difficult American immigration can be sometimes. Mm. We've had a few experiences that I think, oh, but they're just doing their jobs. And yeah. They're just protecting people. So. But apart from that, yeah, thank you very so, much for watching. Yeah, we're going to enjoy the room. Going to watch Bake Off. I think Bake we said that's Bake yeah, Off Yeah, we said final. that. And... Uh, Relax in, in massive pillows. I <laughs> just noticed they're huge. Oh, I can't wait. It's been a heck of a yeah. um, heck of a few weeks and months for me teaching. Um, I teach dance. If anyone didn't know, um, my students have had exams. It's been I've barely been in the house, yeah. even I, with extra exam rehearsals, admin to do with it. Um, last time you saw us as well, um, I think we had mentioned on the previous vlog that you were about to have surgery. Yeah, I had a double hernia operation in May. But um, yeah, so literally a couple is, of weeks after we got back from the this cruise. is the first time we've been away since. Well, yeah. and apart from the uh, Airbnb, this is the first time lugging cases around and stuff. But um, you're fully recovered. Yeah, everything's fine. The op went fine. Scars are healing. So, so yeah. yeah, but it's been it's been a year. We've had we've had quite a lot going on, haven't we? Yeah. But we're at the end of the year, pretty much business end, and it's time for some Disney, time for some relaxation, time for some cruising and some shopping. Well, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. Um, travel day will be next. That should be a good one. It's always a good one, travel day, isn't it? 
Especially we're when we're in upper class. Yeah, we're travelling in upper class, so <laughs> stay on, tuned for that one. <laughs> uh, don't forget to give this, th this uh, thumbs up, because it helps our channel. And it helps Pete keep Mrs B quiet. <laughs> well. The eye rolling has begun. Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you in the next one, which shouldn't be too long now. So, see you for travel day. Bye. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please like, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed that video, why not check out this one here? And we also have some playlists. And here's one here. We'll see you there. Bye.